<laughs> All right. So, um, first of all, good morning. Welcome in Paris. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good to be, be here. here. Did you arrive today? Have you arrived today? Uh, yesterday. Got yes. here yesterday. Yeah, yesterday morning, very early after the <laughs> overnight flight. Yeah. Yeah, jet jet lag and everything. It's not too hard. Slept like champs. Yeah. Last night. <laughs> A lot of sleep. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Cool. Uh, so. The first question I wanted to ask is, um, uh, can you tell us how you guys uh, met and when did you decide to make a career out of your college experience? Uh, that's a good question. Well, we met back in 1996 at Indiana University okay. and just uh, you know, started this mainly to sing for, for girls and food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then all went our separate ways. We all had other jobs, other careers that we went off to, like every college graduate. And then one of our videos went viral about 10 mm -hmm. years after we had all parted ways. And mm -hmm. one of the people that saw it was the president of Atlantic Records. He said, mm -hmm. do you guys want to get back together? We said, yeah, let's do that. That'd be more fun than these other things we're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's been seven years and we've toured uh, the US, of course, very extensively. We're really excited to be here in, uh, mm -hmm. in Paris, in, in Europe. Ooh. So it was in 2006 that you actually uh, uh, start to sing again? Well, it was uh, in 2007 the video went viral. Uh, December of that year we got about 7 million views. And then in 2008, yes indeed, uh, 2008 we started putting all the arrangements back together and rehearsing and then got into the studio that summer and have been touring ever since to the fall of 2008. And it took, you know, it took a couple years before, I think it was 2010 that the last guy quit his day job. Okay. So, and that was when everybody was full time doing this as their, as mm -hmm. their whole job. Right. All right. I Living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> right, so you've been you've been living a dream since uh, 2007 kind of. That's right. That's cool. Do you do you feel grateful to technology, uh, internet and YouTube for that or <laughs> we, we owe you... it pretty much everything. Yeah, yes. exactly. <laughs> hey, you know, and when when the video went up on YouTube, it wasn't it was 2006 that we posted it. It was just posted kind of for us to look at is mm -hmm. what we thought. You know, we sent it to our friends and other people that we knew would be at the, you know, had been at the concert and things like that. It wasn't as though we were trying to start a career at that point or anything yeah. like that. So it really has turned into something very different mm. that yeah. for us was completely just locked, just fortuitous. So. This was all pre-Justin Bieber before people were getting yeah. signed from being on YouTube. So yeah. we were kind of on the first wave of that. So we were very fortunate. We, we were big fans of YouTube. One of the first uh, example of a uh, viral success. Uh, exactly. Yes, we're the first. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. Oh, you, you won't be uh, as popular as the cats or the lol cats, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's right. uh, Grumpy cat, knows? man, that guy yeah. got really locked it down. Yeah. Learn secrets. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do you think you kept on singing a cappella? Have you considered once to use instruments or to hire instruments? Well? We don't play instruments. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's already a lot of us in the band. We don't want to add anybody else. No, right. I mean, this is really what we do and I think what we're good at. You know, I mean, there's actually a bunch of the guys do play instruments, you know, to varying degrees of expertise mm -hmm. but uh, but a bunch of us do play things and it's it's this is really our like i said our what we're what we're good at now okay. is what we're doing so. yeah it's our niche. great 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 um so there are not a lot of bands that are successful in a cappella uh, in france we have this band called po wo i don't know if you heard about them i don't know them and they, they made pretty uh, pretty big success in the 90s uh, with the uh, original song of theirs and also with uh, The Lion Sleeps Tonight, the okay. famous African we've, song. We've sung that a couple times ourselves. Yeah, I can imagine <laughs> it's a typical a cappella song oh, that yeah. you can sing. Uh, have you considered, um, have you considered uh, making your, your songs, writing your own songs or covering uh, more composition songs? Because the songs that you're covering are hits from 40 years, which is one of the key of the success, and that's why people are, are loving it. But have you considered once to, to create songs or to write songs? We have a number of songs that we've written ourselves, actually, on our new album, uh, The Old Fashioned, which will be out everywhere uh, October 30th. Don's got an original piece on okay. there. So we, we have written some of our own pieces. Um, in general, people come to the acapella shows to hear songs that they know and hear the new twist. On, on the songs they know. Um, mm -hmm. That's why we like to say our demographics anywhere from six years old to, to 96, because there's something for over the generations that's in there for everybody. 
to 96. It's, it's funny, in French, it's from 7 to 77. Okay. <laughs> We've got, we definitely have had people older yeah. than 77. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so a couple. That's more fair. I think, <laughs> our, I think our oldest fan is, like, is right at 96, maybe 98. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. like, Whoa, well, that's, that's, that's huge. Um, oh, another question. You are actually 8 or 10 in the 10? 10. 10? Uh, wasn't it too, uh, not too difficult for everybody to find his voice and his place in the band? Uh, or does uh, was it always a very very I mean um, uh, equilibrate uh, between the voices uh, between the ten of you? Well, I think you know we've been doing it. There's been ten guys in the group since we were in college. Okay. And it's something that guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's been 10 guys in the group since we were in college and it's you know it's it's what we've gotten used to and you'll see you know if you come to see our show you may see a couple three four guys that might have you know do more of the solo parts and you might see there's a couple three guys that do mm. some of the percussion some of the beatboxing so yeah. everybody does kind of have their role and everybody gets you know their own chance to shine I think everybody you get to know everybody at least a little bit on stage and, uh, um, but I think that's part of what makes our group uh, fun is that you know for each person in the crowd everybody's got may have a different favorite you know what I mean and and, and maybe one person has more favorites than someone else but but yeah. everybody is somebody's favorite who's out there in the crowd so that's great and actually the beatbox and the rhythm are fully made with the uh, with mouse there are no percussion no electronics no, every, everything is with us and 10 microphones it's impressive <laughs> can tell you. Um, uh, what is the cover song that you are the most proud of? Most proud of? Oh, gosh. That's a fun one. Um, the most yeah, proud, the, the one that you, that you find uh, more comfortable with, uh, that you have more fun to, to do? Well, I mean, there's a couple different things there. I think, like, there's a, there's a song we just did, we did that Radiohead song, Creep, yeah. on our last album, and it's, it's quite a bit different. Um, than the originals. I mean, obviously, there's no instruments to begin with, but it's a lot different feel. It sounds really cool. Um, we haven't done it live yet, actually, so I'll let you know how it goes over. Right. But then I think as far as doing songs live, you know, sometimes doing them live, you might have favorites different than what I've done on the recording. So. Yeah, I can imagine uh, uh, it, it would be interesting because uh, originally the song is a little sad, right? Is what? It's a little sad. sad. It, Yes, it's it's it might be sadder. Than we do, actually, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know, it's one of those things where if you ask, have ten guys, everybody will have ten opinions. One of my favorites is one that we've never even recorded. It's uh, a song that I used to do karaoke all the time. Yeah. Uh, Kiss by Prince. Okay. So we yeah. got to do that live in the show. It was awesome. It was so much fun, and I had a, just a joyous time doing yeah, it. Yeah, we can and see. It, it did great. Yeah, everybody <laughs> loved it. So. We can see in your live show that uh, everything is very live and very you, you, you are using all your body to and your voice to to, to, to show the, the energy that's very right. We try to have a very see. interactive show, a lot of humor, a lot of uh, you know, a lot of interaction with the audience. We can see that. Um, is it your first tour in France? Uh, will will it be your first tour in France in February? We were here for one show back last February, February of 2015. We have one show here as part of a kind of a tour throughout Europe. Mm -hmm. So and it went went really well or well enough that you know, okay. we've been asked back. So yeah, we're, this is we'll be here for two weeks. You know, okay. from uh, February 23rd to March 6th. March 6th, right? our own Parisian residency. We're yeah. very excited. So, oh, cool! First time we've done anything like that in France for sure. And what do you think of France? And Love Paris, it. it's, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. That's why most of us, uh, yeah, our wives are all saying, "So you know, we're coming." As yeah, well. so, yeah. That's well, obvious. Everybody wants. Everybody wants to be a part of this this trip and experience it with us. That's <laughs> it's a very a attractive city. Absolutely I can imagine. Beautiful. Absolutely. Um, are you? Are you? Uh, because in France, we don't know you really as um, as much as in the U.S. But uh, are you the subjects of tabloids or gossips that the media are found of typically? Or not at all? You are not. totally I, artistic. Uh, I assure you when I go to the grocery store, there is no paparazzi <laughs> snapping photos <laughs> when I log out to my car. We're, we're very unassuming guys. Again, we all have been friends for years so, and we've had the other jobs. So we know who we are and we realize what a blessing, what a gift it is to be able to get up and, and sing for, you know, this point mm -hmm. probably millions of people. So we're, we're 
we're not in the tabloids. We're not causing a big stir. <laughs> but I, I'm aiming for that. I'm hoping yeah. to, to kind of make you gotta a splash. You've got to have a goal. you got to have a goal. Yeah, yeah you, you're a, li a little bit uh, in the march of the commercial and of the popularity, the pop music that we can hear everywhere. Exactly. Well, and we always but, joke, yeah. because when there's 10 of us, we're somewhat recognizable. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's like if the group of us is out together, but like any one of us, it's it's much rarer than yeah. it's going to. Uh, yeah, we can see there is cre cre creativity and fun. Right. And uh, sometimes it lacks in some pops. Uh, pop right. Yeah. Yeah. When, I'm, when I'm home, I'm Lily and Will's dad. <laughs> That's how people know me. <laughs> Uh, okay, I think that will be all for for now. Uh, I can wait to 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 be singing at uh, 17 this afternoon. Yeah, perfect. And yeah. Uh, I will be recording uh, awesome. your songs. So Wonderful. It's great. We'll, we'll Thank try you. to sing well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you we'll will do that. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Cool. Yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, for your spare time, and see you. Sure. Yeah, Bye. Thank you.